Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you some cool tips and tricks for this awesome device by Redmi, Redmi K30. Now this device is running on Android 10 with a MIUI version of 11.0.4. So with the latest version of MIUI, Xiaomi has included some really cool features which I would like to share with all of you. Now this video has been time coded because of the length of the video. So you can choose your favorite topic and see the timeline next to it and click on that. So you can directly go to your favorite tip and click on the timeline. So let's start the video but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notified every time I post a new video. Now the first tip is about the Google Play Store. Sometimes you buy Xiaomi devices and it's running Chinese ROM and you get really frustrated and you really want all your Google services. So this one I bought from China and it's running Chinese ROM with a lot of Chinese application. But to install Google Play Store, all you need to do, go to the Me Get Apps application in the orange color. Now this is the Chinese Xiaomi Play Store and type over here, Play Store and go to search. So as you can see, I've already installed it. So just go to the Google Play Store. So you can directly easily install Google Play Store from the Mi application store. Now the second tip is about the lock screen. Xiaomi is giving you a lot of options from the lock screen itself. For example, this wallpaper. When you swipe to the left, you get all these options. So you can change the wallpaper, you can choose nature, you can choose cars, you can choose food, animal, as per your liking. Not only that, you can also turn on the flashlight directly from the lock screen. You can also access the Mi Remote directly from the lock screen. Also, you have the Mi Home and your Mi account. Also, from the lock screen, you can directly go to your camera application. Just hold the camera icon and swipe to the right. So without unlocking your screen, you can use all these options. Not only that, when you go to the lock screen options in the settings, there are a bunch of options. So you have the sleep option. If you want your device to sleep within 30 seconds or 15 seconds, you can choose the option for saving the battery life. You can also choose never option so that your device is always on. You also have an option to rise to wake, which is good. So with this option, when you raise your device, it will automatically turn on. You also have an option of double tap to wake or turn off the screen. So when you are in lock screen, you double tap, it will turn on. When you double tap again, it will turn off the device. Also, you have an option to write down your name, your details, your telephone number in case if you lose your device. So this will be always displayed in the lock screen. For example, tech 786. So if I choose this option and once I turn on the lock screen, you will see as you can see, text 786 is showing in the lock screen. Now, this is a good option in case if you lose your device and somebody find your device, they can easily contact you by seeing your name and number on the lock screen. Also, you can change the lock screen clock format, for example, in the center, on the side, in a different design. I prefer the first one. Xiaomi is also giving you an option to launch the camera by double pressing the volume button. So when you turn this on, so when you're in the lock screen, you just double press the volume down button and it will enable the camera. Now another cool tip is about the display of this device. So when you go to the settings, choose display, you have all these options. You can turn on the brightness level automatically. Now this is a basic setting. You can choose automatic brightness or you can choose it manually. There is also a reading mode given. So when you're reading at night, you can turn on the reading mode to just give you less eye fatigue to your eyes. You can also schedule it so that uh, in the morning it will automatically turn off. Now the device is using an IPS panel. If you don't like the color scheme, you can go to the color scheme and choose warm, cool, or even you can just play with this as per your liking. I will choose default. The device comes with a high refresh rate of 120Hz, which is awesome for a mid-end device. Even Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is a high-end device of Samsung, doesn't have this. So this is a cool feature. You can enable from the setting, and if you want to save battery life, you can choose 60Hz, which is the standard settings. But if you want a very smooth performance, you can choose 120Hz of display. You will really enjoy it. Also, there is a dark mode over here which you can enable. I mean, it's fun to use dark mode. Also, it saves a lot of battery life. Not only here, you can also choose in the no notification. The same option comes in the notification tray also. Also, you can schedule the dark mode according to your liking. Now, this one is really cool because the device has a small notch on the front. If you don't like it, you can hide the notch over here. So there are three options given by Xiaomi. You can hide the notch without moving the status bar. So you can see the status bar is still there, even though I have hidden the notch. But you can also hide the notch and move the status bar. So in this scenario, I have hidden the notch and also the status bar is down inside the panel. So these are the three options given for hiding the notch. Also, if you want to see your carrier connection speed for 3G and 4G, you can just enable the setting. You can see the download and the upload speed right from the status bar. Also, when you go to the battery indicator, you can choose graphical, so it will give you just the graph. You can also choose percentage inside the icon, so you have the battery icon, and also inside there's a percentage. And you can choose next to the battery icon, so you have the battery graph and the percentage on the right. 
I prefer inside the icon. Xiaomi is also giving you an option for auto rotate screen. For example, you can use the device in the desktop mode or landscape mode. When you choose this option, by choosing this option, you can use your device in the landscape mode and also in the portrait mode. So this is a good option. Also, there are a lot of options in the home screen setting. So when you go to the home screen setting, suppose you want to give your device to your parents, I mean, somebody who is quite elderly or somebody who is elderly and they would like to use big fonts. So in that case, you can change the default launcher and choose this launcher, Gzen home screen. Now what it will do, it will, now it will enable all the fonts in a very big and chunky size. People who have glasses or people who are quite elderly, they want to use everything very easily. They can see everything quite clearly, so they can easily go to the gallery. So they can see everything quite big and clearly. Contacts, settings, calendar, application drawer, phone, messages, camera. So all the settings becomes quite chunky and big. Now this launcher will be quite convenient for them to use the phone. To go back, you can always go to the settings and go to the system setting. Go to home screen again and choose the default launcher. This device has 8 GB of RAM. And if you are into your RAM management, you can just click on this option, show memory status. So after choosing this option, whenever you are clearing any RAM from your device, it will show you the exact percentage of the RAM cleared. So for example, I clear the RAM now. You can see 461 MB of RAM is cleared. So this is a good option. Also, you can choose your home screen style to be regular or with app drawer. When you choose regular, you don't have any app drawer. So all your applications are on the side. So this is all your applications. But when you choose the second option with app drawer, so when you choose the second option, you can have all your favorite apps on the home screen and the rest of them inside the app drawer. So in the security settings, you have two options. First one is the fingerprint and second one is the face unlock. When you're using face unlock, there are two options. So by default, when you're using the face unlock, it will unlock the device, but it will stay on the lock screen like this. You see, it has unlocked the device, but it's staying on the lock screen. You need to swipe to go to the home screen. Now you can change this option in the setting. You go to face unlock and you can remove this option, stay on lock screen after unlocking. So next time, whenever you're unlocking the device, you will directly go to the home screen like this. When you go to the application setting, you have these options. You have the dual app support. So you can have two WhatsApp, two Facebook, two Instagram, two WeChat account, which is awesome. And I'm sure in the future, you will have more application which supports dual applications like TikTok, etc. Also, you get an app lock option. So you can individually go and lock the applications, for example, gallery, WhatsApp, anything which you have private information, you can lock it by setting up a password like this. There are a lot of cool features in the additional setting of this device. So you can go full screen display. For example, what I'm using now, this is a full screen display. So this is something very similar to how we use the iPhones, especially the iPhone 10 and the latest versions. But if you don't like gestures, you can use the buttons. So you have your classic navigation buttons for the home screen, back and multitasking. For me, I prefer the gestures. Also, there is a small tutorial to learn the gesture. But if you like the classic navigation buttons, you can have that option also. Also, you have the quick ball setting. Now, this is a good option. Suppose your hardware buttons are not working. For example, the power button or the home button. I mean, you can use the power button, the home screen, the multitasking to turn off the device, to take the screenshot, go back. For me, I don't use it. But again, it's a good option given by Xiaomi, but definitely copied from Apple. You have the classic one hand mode, you can enable that, you can increase or decrease the size also. To use the one hand mode, you have to just swipe from the home button. So you can swipe to the left or the right to use one hand mode. It can be handy when you're driving and if the device is quite big like this. And if you have small hand, I think this can be a handy feature. Also, when you go to accessibility, you have this cool option of magnification. If you turn it on, you can read small text very clearly. For example, if there is anything you're reading, you just have to triple tap and it will zoom the device. Again, triple tapping. It will take you back to the home screen in the normal mode. Now this device is fully packed with a lot of features, something similar to how Samsung's gives you a lot of features in their devices. Now there is also a screen time option given by Xiaomi. It's always good to see how your device is performing over a period of time, what applications you're using more. So device will keep calculating it and give you an proper optimization options. Also, Xiaomi is giving you the special features options. So you have the game turbo mode. I think this we had in MIUI 10 also. 
nothing much has changed in this and this is cool you have second space option so for example if you want to give your device to your family member or a close friend so you can give them like the same device but all your important information contacts everything will be hidden so when you choose second space now what the device will do it will give you a new home screen in a simple way it's like a new fresh device so if you want to hand over the device to someone whom you trust you can give it like this they can never switch back to the main device so to switching back to the main device you need to draw the pattern or confirm your password which you will never tell them so they can never see your information so when you, they go in the dialer you don't have any contacts here when you, when they go in the gallery it's absolutely clean there's nothing here so they cannot see any information of yours until you give them the password so switching it back you have to just again use your pattern and you switch it back to the main device which has all your information. Now there is a small tip in the camera setting. When you go to the camera setting, whenever you are taking any picture, you will see the picture taken has a small watermark that shot on Redmi K30. If you don't like the watermark, you can go to the camera setting and you can turn off this option device watermark so whenever you're taking any picture it will not have any watermark but for example if you want the watermark and also you need the timestamp you can enable these options so whenever you're taking a picture again for example this one not only it will have the watermark but it also will have the timestamp will tell you when the picture was taken at what time so it will give you a clear idea suppose you want to record something in your life I think the tips and tricks for this device are endless. There are so many options given by Xiaomi. It's almost impossible to cover in one video. So this would be the last tip for this video. And I think this is quite important for everyone because uh, sometimes you get a very good deal on your Xiaomi devices online or a local retailer. But just to make sure whether the device which you bought is authentic and original, all you can do is go to the My Device setting, go to All Specifications, all you need to do is just type on the kernel version for 7 times. 1, 2, 3. Now you must see this option of CIT. Not only this option certified that this is an authentic and original device, but also you can check each and every function of this device. The camera, the receiver, the touch screen, everything. So this is, I think, very important for everyone to know. Not only you can check your notification light, you can have the test. But if you don't get this option, it means your device is not authentic. It's not an original device. They must have given you a copy or a fake device. So this is a good test you can do. Even when you're unlocking your device or you're just started to use your device, you can check this option. And this option is available in all your Redmi and Xiaomi devices running any version of Android after Android 7. This is the most important test, the touchscreen. Anything goes wrong with the touchscreen, you almost pay half the price of the smartphone. So you must test the touchscreen Every single corner is working. If you buy a second hand device, the device fell down, maybe this part is not working. Suppose the device fell down, there, there are chances that some part of the touchscreen will stop working. So this part will work, this part will not work. It is possible in some of the devices. So this is a good test you can do. As you can see, everything is working. All the side, the centers, everything is working properly. So this is again a good information for everyone. So all you need to do is just click on the kernel version and you can get to this amazing option. Now this is an awesome device by Xiaomi. I have also done the unboxing of this device. You can click over here to see that video with the camera comparison with the Galaxy A51 which is the Galaxy's new mid-end device. And also you can click over here to see all my unboxing videos. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up. I will really appreciate that. See you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.